Hey everybody, how's it going? Dieter Curtin back here at Oracle Arena. Warriors get absolutely annihilated by the Dallas Mavericks tonight. Uh, one of the worst home losses in a really long time for the Golden State Warriors. The worst home loss in the Steve Kerr era of Warriors basketball. Warriors fall behind early, never even came close to bothering to get back into the game. Dallas making everything, the Warriors making nothing. Uh, add in a lax effort, and it was just a recipe for disaster. Warriors falling behind by as many as 43 in this game. Dirk Nowitzki looked like he was 15 years younger in the contest. It, it was a mess. The Warriors without Stephen Curry, without Andrew Bogut, uh, without Sean Livingston, it looked pretty rough. Interesting staff for you. We could go through three things. We're not going to do that because all three things were the Warriors were really bad and that they didn't want to play hard tonight. Uh, interesting stat, though. Warriors over the last three years, 29 and 23 without Steph Curry in the lineup, 29 and 10 without Kevin Durant in the lineup. If you were wondering how important Steph and Curry is to the Warriors playing with verve and energy and style and grace, well, that stat should pretty much back it up. Warriors had none of those things, of course, tonight. Defense extremely lax. This was a bit predictable, though, to be fair, because the Warriors played one of their best games of the year. I thought their best game of the year on Thursday night against the Indiana Pacers. And then, of course, they follow it up with almost inarguably their worst game of the year tonight against the Dallas Mavericks. Positive thing for the Warriors, even though they fall into the number two spot in the Western Conference, they do have another game here on Sunday night. Uh, Detroit Pistons are really good, a really interesting team. Stephen Curry is expected to be back for that one. We're not sure who else is going to maybe rest for Sunday night's game, but um, maybe with, with as few minutes as the starters played tonight, Theoretically, the Warriors could go full squad against the Pistons, and, and that should be a fun, interesting matchup. Blake Griffin is just playing tremendous basketball. Andre Drummond has really taken it to another level as of uh, late. And I think the Pistons are one of the more fun teams to watch in the Eastern Conference. So it could be a good game if the Warriors decide to show up. They didn't tonight. They lose big. Uh, they're going to flush this one down the toilet, according to Steve Kerr. We will talk after tomorrow night's game, Detroit Pistons, Golden State Warriors. See if the Warriors show up for that one. I know I'll be here. Talk to you then.